guys, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning into this, and we're doing the belly dragger thing here. Glad you're uh, tuning into this video as we're going to do a series on this, and we're taking the deadbolt and we're putting it in the belly dragger that we got from AliExpress. There isn't any instructions, so just kind of working my way through this, and I uh, got my uh, some pictures here from websites and trying to figure this out now. I'm just telling you, <clears throat> I've already kind of put it together and now I've taken it apart again so I can help you guys out with this thing. So we have the frame here. It's all put together. Now, the best thing you want to do is just kind of loosen these off a little bit. And I'll tell you why in a sec. Um, from here, we have the frame of the deadbolt and um, we just loosen some screws. So you're going to loosen, I think, about four from here and you're going to take the shocks off and uh, that will pretty much do it and then you're going to just take this off you're going to unplug the servo and unplug the motor and uh, you're pretty much freed up and you're going to end up with the apparatus that looks like this sorry i'm kind of looking at things wrong here but anyways um it's okay if the drive shafts fall out right now or whatever everything's kind of going either which way so the best way if you want to do this like I am doing it is you want to take the frame and you want to turn it upside down and what ended up happening is is when I put it all together I noticed that the holes for the shocks are tinier than the, sh the holes for the rest of the screws so I kind of figured out where I'm going with this now if you look at this shot here you're going to let me, let me see here. We're going to scroll down. Now, if you look at this one, the servo is way out. So they have extended links on the front on this RC uh, in here. And so it's not stock. And you can see that they don't have the stock shocks. I am running completely stock here. So I found out that you're going to have to use the last hole pretty much or second last hole. So what I've done is I've taken one of the screws that came with this thing and I have a reamer here for your body and I have kind of started the hole a little bit bigger with the reamer and then taken a 1.3 millimeter driver and put one of these screws in that came with it and they're a lot stronger than the screws that are in the shocks because I've already broken one off because they're kind of like that pill ball thing and uh, now that I have widened it so those screws will go in and you don't have to worry about it so I'm going here with the last hole here in the front and in the back I am going with the third last hole I widened it out so now I have taken it all apart and I've uh, stretched out those holes with the, with the screws that came with the kit. And then I'm going to use the screws in the shocks. I'm just using the stock shocks for now. You can switch out your own shocks. Um, but that's the way it's going to be. I'm, way I'm going to use it. And if you want to uh, extend the front links in the drive shaft, then you can put in different shocks too. But... I'm just going to show you a couple things here before we show you the finished product. If you look on the mount or whatever you want to call that from the SCX, the original part, there's two notches and you want them to line up with the inner two holes. So that's why you need this frame a little loosened off so you can actually flex this a little bit and pop those in on either side because there's holes on either side you need to match up. And then once you do that, I would hit the first two by there and then you use the long screws to go through and mount the body links. And then once you got all that, make sure your drive shafts are in. And once you got that, then you just pretty much have to mount your shock, shocks and then you have pretty much everything put together and then you're just gonna have to move the ESC receiver over and mount it, double-sided tape or something on top of the roof and you'll slide the battery in the back You'll be pretty much ready to go. So let's get this thing together. 
So there it is guys, I got it all together and gonna give you a piece of advice. If you're gonna do it like the way I do it, you're gonna need a pair of pliers. You flip it over and these body posts here, uh, these links here, I use a pair of pliers to feed them into their slots and then the long screws go, th go through here and they screw in to this point over here fit is pretty good um the notches fit right in perfectly from the little mount there um pull everything through you can see all the wires are kind of in there loose now um this is what's happening here like i said so now the servo is underneath this part and if we look at our pictures from earlier the servos hanging out front so everything is elongated so they have longer links underneath and a longer drive shaft of course so if you're going to do that you're going down the rabbit hole also here i have the shocks in the farthest back hole and i showed you earlier that i was aiming for the third last hole but um i ended up changing my mind after i tried it there and i moved it to the very last hole and the reason why is because the battery is stuffed in here but the stock shocks aren't really they're pretty soft and they fully compress down and now the battery is basically hitting the top of what would be the servo mount in the front so the differential box so um i really like the look of it it's not belly dragging as much as i like might have to hit it up with some Endura links on the front. Get the matching ones in the back if you want to do that. Definitely, I think you need stiffer springs on the shocks. The stock shocks aren't really going to cut it, but they do articulate. But I'm a little concerned about this rub on the battery. I'm, uh, I'm a little on the fence about it. So I want to hear what you guys think. But that's what it looks like when it's all put together. Thanks for tuning into this. Right now I'm giving it a thumbs in the middle. Um, I'm going to finish it up later. I'm going to take the receiver servo out and put it in here, connect the wires. And we're going to have to drive it and see how it goes. Alright, thanks for tuning in this video. Catch you on the next one soon. Alright, take care. Peace out.